The first part of verse 5. Your religious actions cannot save you. Your religious actions cannot save you. Paul says, if anyone has confidence in the flesh, I've got more. I was circumcised on the eighth day. Circumcision was an outward sign that you were one of God's people. And according to the law of God, it was to be done on the males on the eighth day after they were born. Perhaps so they would be strong enough because it is a surgery that you're doing on a little boy. But it was the outward sign that you belong to one of God's people. And Paul's saying, the eighth day I was circumcised. I'm an eight-dayer. That's what the text literally says. Circumcised as an eighth-dayer. What does that mean? Paul's saying, these false teachers are telling you to be saved through your religious actions. Most of them were circumcised as adults. I was circumcised on the eighth day, exactly like God's word said. He's saying, if you want to talk about religious actions, I'm perfect in them. I've done all of them. So much so that I was circumcised, which God had commanded on the specific day that he had commanded. But his point in saying all of this is circumcision, this religious action, couldn't save me. I counted as loss because it couldn't save me. Hear me, friends. Hear me in application of this. Your religious actions cannot save you. Being circumcised cannot save you. Praying a prayer and asking Jesus into your heart cannot save you. Simply confessing your sins that I am a sinner out loud or in your heart cannot save you. Saying with your voice or with your heart, Jesus is Lord cannot save you. Being baptized in water cannot save you. Speaking in tongues cannot save you. Taking the Lord's Supper cannot save you. Fasting cannot save you. Being a member of a church cannot save you. Being a Calvinist cannot save you. Being reformed cannot save you. Being an Arminian especially cannot save you. Reading the Puritans and Reformers and the best theologians that we have and memorizing every systematic theology, passing every theological test, cannot save you. Being nice cannot save you. Being truthful cannot save you. Telling others to repent and believe the gospel cannot save you. Speaking up for your pre-born neighbors concerning abortion cannot save you. Being pro-life cannot save you. Being an abolitionist cannot save you. Singing worship songs cannot save you. Reading the Bible cannot save you. Giving money to the poor cannot save you. Giving offerings or tithes to the church cannot save you. Feeding the poor cannot save you. Preaching the gospel cannot save you. Teaching the Bible cannot save you. Leading others to Christ cannot save you. Baptizing others cannot save you. Doing ministry cannot save you. Telling everyone 29 other ways that they cannot be saved cannot save you. No religious action can save you. If you see someone who says, pray this prayer after me and you're saved, say, nope, that's not how people are saved. We're saved through faith in Christ alone. Religious externals profit nothing in your salvation. Should you pray? Yes. Should you be baptized? Yes, because Jesus commands to be baptized. None of those things save you, however. 
Only faith in Christ. George Whitfield said, What? Get to heaven on your own strength? Why, you might as well try to climb to the moon on a rope of sand. That's what your religious actions are. If you're looking to those religious actions to make your sin gone and be counted righteous before God. It's a rope of sand trying to climb to the moon. Are you trusting in any of these things that I have mentioned in order to make you right with God? If your faith is in any of those things, then your faith is not in Jesus. You cannot trust your baptism and Christ. Christ is exclusive. You cannot trust praying a prayer and asking Jesus to come into your heart and save you and Christ. You're either trusting the prayer you prayed or you're trusting the once crucified, now resurrected Christ. You cannot trust any religious actions. That's why Paul says, I didn't trust in the best of the best religious actions. I was circumcised even on the eighth day. But I count it as loss.